I'm gonna start this video by asking you the most important question you will ever answer in your life. And it's pretty simple. Do you wanna spend every day for the rest of your life like you are right now? And look, you may not be where you want to be, but are you living up to your full potential every day? Most people will say no. Most people know that they can be doing better. Now I'm gonna ask you probably the second most important question you will ever get asked in your life. If you were to continue with what you were doing right now, on a day-to-day -day basis, where would you be in 10 years time? Most of the population will still be exactly where they are. And if you wanna do that, that's completely fine. I have no problem with it, but I'm sure you have a problem with it. And if you don't know where you'll be in 10 years time, that's completely okay, but just have a rough idea. If you were to continue to watch porn, if you were to continue to waste hours on video games every single day, if you were to keep hanging out with these toxic friends, where would you be in 10 years time? I was asked that exact same question from one of my basketball coaches about three years ago. Now I'm not gonna say names just for privacy reasons, but this guy, I looked up to him and he asked me, where do you wanna be in five years time? I was only what? I was only 14 years old at this point, 13, 14. So I had no idea where I would be in five years time. So I sat there thinking about that question for minutes, where I would be in five years time. And I said the NBA at that point. And ever since then, like my mindset has shifted. It's always been like that one question changed everything. And that's why I wanted to start this video by asking you that question. And if you're watching this video right now, there's probably a reason why you are where you are. If you're very successful watching this, I'm proud of you. And there's probably a reason why you are. You're probably putting the work. If you're somewhere in the middle, yeah, you're doing your thing every single day. You're maybe not where you are, where you want to be yet, but something triggered the change in your mindset to start those good habits. And maybe you're on the lower end of the spectrum, you procrastinate every single day, and you know, you damn well know, in five, 10 years time, you will be exactly where you are, or you'll be worse if you continue to do that. And I was that person, I fucking hated it. I loved it because it had no worry, I was comfortable, but I fucking hated it. My internal soul hated the life I lived. And some people like it, but I didn't. I fucking hated that shit. Every single hour I'd waste, every single second I'd waste, I grew angrier and angrier and angrier. And it got to a point, it got to a limit. I think, I think it was on my birthday, 15 years old. I'm like, fuck, I'm halfway to 30. If I do not change my lifestyle, I'm gonna be like this for the rest of my life. I said, fuck it. I went 631 days without ejaculating. I haven't watched porn in over three years, but that anger, got me over the hump. I actually wake up with a smile on my face. I would wake up with a smile on my face knowing that there was a new video to watch on Pornhub and then I would bust over that video and then I would feel like, shit, that was my life. I'm gonna give you three very crucial steps and don't skip past these because they are very important. If you do these three steps, it is the highest chance possible to actually make sure your bad habits don't come back and the good ones actually stick because that is the most important thing because consistency is growth. Yeah, compound interest. Step number one is actually creating new values and new goals. 10 years time, where will you be? Just knowing where you want to be. Or if you don't like 10 years, maybe that's too long, think a year. Where do you wanna be this time next year? Be truthfully honest with yourself. If you, if you never played basketball in your life and you want to make the NBA in six months, it's probably not realistic. Be realistic with yourself, but also aim high because that is very important. And I want you to create values around those goals. Literally mind map your whole life and what you want it to be. Step two, I want you to become really self-aware. There's one thing to create goals, create new values. But now I want you to zoom out like your life is a video game and I want you to play it like it's a video game. Instead of getting caught up in the mind and your thoughts, I want you to observe those thoughts. When you're down in the dance, when something really fucking bad happens to you, I want you to observe that like you're in a video game. Something bad has happened to the main character. It's a all part of the story. It's all part of the game. That bad event will impact the end. That bad event will probably make the good or the ending, the good ending, better. I want you to embrace both the positive and the negative side of self-improvement. Zoom out, become self-aware, learn more about yourself, observe your mind, observe your life, observe everything and you will learn so much more. And step number three, stay consistent. I know this is a very broad term. Just stay consistent, just stay consistent. Look, it, it is that simple. It is that simple as staying consistent. But the way you stay consistent is not by saying affirmations in the mirror. That can help. It's not really anything 
other than wanting it bad enough. That's really it. If you want it bad enough, I don't care if you have the worst environment around you, you will find a way to do what you have to do each and every single fucking day. If you want it bad enough, if you want it more than the next guy, you will go after it and do it. But the way you can help with that is by, you know, doing certain affirmations, creating an environment that makes it easy to do good habits. So it becomes so much easier to do that. If you want to ruin the rest of your life, ignore what I just said. That is the title of this video and that's the answer. Ignore what I just said. Go for seven days, take another week off. Create a new identity, a new person that goes after those goals. Come self-aware of yourself and that person and everything and stay consistent by putting the right systems in place. With that said, I will catch you in the next video. Peace.